Tatas, Tatas, welcome to my very first video on my channel. So today's video is all about camp and 10 things I wish I knew before doing Camp America. Just to give you some context, um, I went for the first time in 2020 summer, I'm 18, um, and I didn't know anyone else who had done it. So I'm just going to tell you what things I wish I knew might be helpful. There's like good things and bad things, so it's, it's not all bad. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is, you don't get a lion. Like, obviously, you're not going to get a lion at summer camp. But I didn't realise the extent, because I'm like the type of person who wakes up at 12 <laughs> for holidays. But um, I don't think I slept past 8am once, which was very, very something to get used to. But like, you do get used to it, because it's just, like, it's just every day. But like, it's fun, so it's okay. You're not waking up to do like... I don't know, drag rocks. Oh, that was a bad example. But yeah, it's fun stuff, so I can't really complain. Okay, second thing. Bug bites. Oh my god. Everywhere. The first I, I think my first week we had a pool party on the second night or something. The next morning, everywhere, my whole body. And they're, they're like I have a bad reaction to them. They go like really big. So just just know that you're gonna get bitten. You can get these um, sprays, but I, I barely used it, so it's probably my fault. Okay, next thing. This one's a good thing. Um, like, you barely speak to friends and family. That sounds bad, but it's because you're having so much fun. I thought I was going to be, like, calling my mum every day, but I ended up calling them, like, once a week because I was just so busy and just having a good time. So, like, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Okay, next one. Oh yeah, I didn't realise I'd be doing so much cleaning. So in the first week was camp orientation, so it was just staff, and we cleaned out like nine bunks, and we like were mopping, sweeping, hoovering cobwebs, getting the gym ready. So I don't know if it was just my camp, but just be prepared. You might have to clean. Like it's not a big deal. I just didn't think we'd have to. Okay, next thing. We were in the middle of nowhere. When I say the middle of nowhere, the middle of nowhere. Like, we were in some, like, hillbilly town. <laughs> um, so there's not that much to do on days off. But, to be fair, it's quite nice because you go to, like, lakes and just really scenic places and waterfalls. Oh, we went to a few waterfalls. They were so good. But, yeah, like, there's not... It depends where you go, actually. So research before you go what there is to do, like, in the area. Um, yeah. Next thing. Oh, I didn't think I was going to, like, think about it so much afterwards. Like, I think about it every day. So it's actually it's quite a nice thing. And, like, by the time it gets to winter, it's been so long that, like, it's just, you just can't wait to get back to summer. Okay. What's next? I feel like I'm speaking really fast. Oh well. Um, oh yeah, I got so emotional when the kids left. Like, on like leaving days, we had three during the summer or four when the staff left as well. But we were all just like bawling our eyes out. It's crazy because like we've known these kids for two weeks, and we're like, yeah, they were playing sad music as well. We were all just, yeah, I didn't think. I was going to be that emotional about people that I've never met before. Um, what's next? Ah, oh, the first week. Right, this was staff orientation. It was so cold. Because I'd only packed clothes for summer, really. So, I wish I knew to bring more jumpers. I think I had two or three. Bring some jumpers, joggers, raincoat. Because the first week was just rainy. And then the good weather started when the kids got here. So just be prepared for that, especially like if you're in North East America, because I feel like if you're in Texas or like California, it's going to be hot. But it did get hot for the rest of the summer, though. I think the average temperature was about 30 degrees. So it does get hot. Um, What else have I put? Very little time off, guys. I knew the time off was very little because I obviously read my contract. But the hours I was working, they were very long. Just be prepared. 
that you won't get much rest and you're working with kids so you're going to be tired like by the end of the summer I was drained so I'm glad it ended when it did but then at the same time it's not all bad because like some of the work I was doing was like playing frisbee with kids or like playing dodgeball or like just refilling water bottles like some of it is hard don't get me wrong but a lot of it is just enjoying yourself so it makes doesn't feel like you're working for as long as you are um I think that's everything so I don't know if I did 10 because I did not keep count but I hope you enjoy and I'm gonna make more videos to do with camp and other things any questions comment down below and bye